Welcome, amazing one. And let's solve this beautiful equation together. I tell you, it's just so easy. Relax. I take you through it step by step. And don't forget to tell us how it helps you in the comments. Let's do this together. So we're going to begin with a solution. Now let's repeat what we have. 8 to the power of x minus 2 is equal to 48. Now at this point, just quickly take the logarithm of both sides. So we take log of 8 to the power of x minus 2 is equal to log of 48. Remember, for every log of a to the power of x, is always equal to x log a. The power multiplies the log. So applying this rule on the left side, we are going to have this power multiplies. So we are going to have, use it to multiply, x minus 2 is multiplying log of 8 is equal to log of 48. Keep solving x minus 2 log 8 is equal to log of 48. Now we're going to use this to distribute. Remember, this can also be written as log of 8 into x minus 2 is equal to log of 48. Now we're using this to distribute inside the bracket. So if you do that, this multiplies, you have x log 8. Multiply this, you have negative 2 log 8 is equal to log of 48. Now, what do you do next? Our target is on this x, so we need to remove this. To do that, you add to both sides. So we have x log 8 is equal to log of 48. This becomes positive 2 log 8. Now, these two are multiplying. To get this x, just divide both sides by log of 8. So we're dividing this by log of 8. This takes off this. So we're going to have x is equal to. Now, you are free to use this denominator to divide each of the numerators. So we have log of 48 divided by log of 8 plus 2 log 8 divided by log of 8. What did you observe? You observe that these two are the same, so you can take them off. Now, what do we have? We have x is equal to log of 48 divided by log of 8 plus 2. Keep solving. And for you to also have to watch through this point, it shows what you do interesting. Don't forget to give this a like. If you are still new, hit that subscription button because we have a lot to give to you every day. Helping us to share this helps the algorithm to send to more people that need this skill. Thank you. And let's keep doing this to have. We know too well that 48 is the same as 2 multiplies 24. 24 is 2 multiplies 12. 12 is 2 multiplies 6. And 6 is 2 multiplies by 3. So it means that when we have 48, we are going to have this multiplied gives us 48. And also know that when you have 8, 8 is 2 multiplied 3 times, which is 2 cubed. So simplifying this, we are going to have x is equal to log of, instead of writing 48, we are going to write this. You observe that 2 appeared 4 times, so we have 2 to the power of 4 multiplied by 3. That gives you 48. Now, we also have it divided by, for 8, we have log of 2 to the power of 3, then add 2. Keep solving. We are going to have, just remember at this point, for you to simplify this, for every log of A multiplied by B, it's always log of A plus log of B. So we're going to apply this rule here. So if you do that, X is equal to log of 2 to the power of 4 plus log of 3 is divided by log of 2 cubed plus 2. Keep solving. X is equal to this 4 multiplies. So we now have 4 log 2 plus log of 3. Now we can use this to divide each numerator. This 3 will also multiply. So this gives us, divide this by 3 log 2. You also divide this by the same denominator, which is 3 log 2. 
then add 2. Keep solving, we have x is equal to, you observe that these two are the same, so we have 4 on 3 plus, now here, the quotient of this log is 1. So we have 1 log 3 divided by 3 log 2 plus 2. Now, just quickly remember, for every log of A divided by log of B, it's always log of A base B, your change of base room. So you apply this here and it gives you X is equal to 4 on 3 plus, now this gives us one third of log of, obeying this, we have log of 3 base 2, then add 2. You observe that these two are constant, so we can add them. And that gives us x is equal to 4 on 3 plus 2 plus 1 third of log of 3 base 2. Now, let's quickly add this. You see that this is the same as 4 on 3 plus 2 is the same as 2 whole 4 on 3. So, what you do is just use this 3 to multiply 2, and it gives you 6. Then add this 4 to it. It gives you 10 on 3. So taking it to this part, we have x is equal to 10 on 3 plus 1 third of log of 3 base 2. And this gives us the simplified value of x. Now we're going to plug this x value on the left side to see if it gives us back 48. And that is the most interesting part. I wouldn't want you to miss. Let's do this verification together to have. To verify. So we have 8 to the power. This is our x. We have 10 on 3 plus 1 third of log of 3 base 2. That is for x. Then minus 2. Will this be equal to 48? Let's see to that. So what do you do? We just need to simplify. So we have 8 raised to power 10 on 3. These two are constant, so you can simplify them together. Plus 1 third of log of 3 base 2. Now let's quickly subtract this. You have 10 on 3 minus 2. You know that 2 is the same as 2 on 1. Now what do you do? Quickly use this to multiply this. It gives you 10. Multiply this. It gives you negative 6, then multiply the denominator, it gives you 3. 10 take away 6 gives us 4 on 3. So it means that for simplifying this, we are having 4 on 3. So that gives us, so we're going to have 8 to the power of 4 on 3 plus 1 third of log of 3 base 2. Now what do you do next? At this point, you just need to remember. Remember, this represents power of this 8. You just need to remember that for every a to the power of m plus n, it's always a to the power of m. Addition sign turns to multiplication. So if you apply this rule of exponent on this, you see that this is already of this form. So we want to take it back to this form. So if you do it from here, we are going to have 8 to the power of 4 on 3. Turn this to multiplication. So we have 8 to the power of 1 third of log of 3 base 2. Now, keep solving. Remember, 8 is the same as, like we said, 2 cubed. So we're going to have 2 cubed in place of 8. Let's separate this. It's raised to the power of 4 on 3 multiplied by 2 cubed raised to the power of 1 third of log of 3 base 2. Now remember at this point, for every a to the power of m raised to the power of n, is always a to the power of m multiplied by n. So if you apply this rule here, we are going to have 2 to the power, you see that this power we multiply. So this multiplies this, this will take off this, you are left with 2 to the power of 4. is multiplied by 2 to the power of, this is over 1, so this takes off this, you are left with 1, and 1 multiplies this, gives you log of 3 base 2. 
Now remember also for every a to the power of log of b base a, you see that these two bases are the same. It's always equal to this number b. So if you apply this rule on this, finally you are going to have two to the power of four multiply. You see that these two are the same, obeying this. So we're going to have three. And that gives us, this is the same as two multiplied four times times three. And this gives us 48. And that is what we have at the right side. So it means that the value of X we have as 10 on three plus one third of log of three base two is absolutely correct. And I hope you really learned something today. If you did, don't forget to tell us how much helping us to share helps the algorithm to send to more people. Thank you for always choosing to lecture us. I'll see you in our next class. Till then, bye-bye.